So I use the iPad to draw, as a lot of people know, and I use Metabang Paint. I can't take advantage of all the really cool brushes that a lot of people make for Clip Studio or for um, Procreate. So I learned how to make my own. So right here you see I made some confetti right here and I'm gonna use this to make a cute confetti brush. So what you're gonna wanna do for this confetti brush is to add each individual drawing on a separate layer. So you see I have like, each little piece is separate from each other. Once you do that, you're good. You're gonna go to add brushes and then you're gonna wanna go to standard and then scatter multi. This is gonna take, it's gonna scatter all the pictures and it's gonna use multiple pictures. So you add from canvas and it's gonna use each individual picture that you have, each individual layer, even if you have the layer hidden. So if you don't wanna use like the sketch layer, throw that away before you do this. So next thing you wanna do is just adjust the settings until it works for you. So I'm gonna turn off that. I'm gonna go over here and Turn off apply foreground color, maybe make the particle size. You can slowly start to see the pieces get bigger. Okay, one thing I forgot to explain is the reason why I turned off apply foreground color. So for this picture, since I already colored the confetti a certain way, I wanted it to use the colors that I already drew. So the foreground is, I have it circled right here. It's that color, you know, the bright pink color. That's the foreground color that I already chose for the picture. I didn't want it to use that color though. I wanted it to use the pastels I already picked. I'm gonna, let's see, maybe turn the size up. And let's see how this goes. Once you fix up the adjustments and everything, you can go and test out your brush. And you can see, you got I got me some cute confetti spreading all over the place. Keep in mind, my canvas is really, really big. So let's get the canvas to like 100%. So now you can see how the actual size of my confetti is. That looks awesome. Next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show how to make some braids. Because, you know, all the really cool brushes that are going around right now are for braids and curls and stuff. So that you can make black hairstyles. So, for me, I made my own braid brush right here. You can see it right here. And in order to do the braids, you're going to have to draw just, like, a chunk of the braid. So, like, you're going to have to practice drawing some braids. You know, just draw it, like, doot, 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 like that. And then like just take like the middle piece of it and then once you get the middle piece of the braid you're gonna want to test it out to make sure that each piece each end of the braid can line up with it so right here you can see if i do it like this it lines up pretty perfectly if i go up here it lines up pretty perfectly once you do that you know that once you turn it into a brush you'll be able to get a chain that's completely seamless and you know works really well. So next we're gonna do the exact same thing with the confetti, go to add brushes. We're gonna go to standard and then go to bitmap. Oh wait, I messed up, oh my God. Okay, let's do this again. Add brushes, standard, bitmap, and then add from canvas. And then right here you can see we have our brush. You can make it bigger, smaller if you want. Go change the medium width. That'll make it so that at the ends it'll get smaller. You can turn off, let's see, epoxy pipe pressure. I don't want that on. Let's make it spaced out just a little bit. And I think I like this, so I'm gonna save the brush. And now let's go over here and test it out. Yep, make it a little bit smaller. And yeah, it looks pretty good. If you mess up, you know, the spacing isn't right, you can just fix it up some just fix up how for much of the settings you want you can do that right there so now i got my brushes and with this strategy i was able to do a whole bunch of different brushes so if i go up here i'm going to show all the brushes i made i got some ringlets you know i got my braid i got twists i got i actually did some curls so like the way i draw curls now i can just make the line art without drawing that much line art. So now I have my lines right there, and then I made another curl type. And yeah, it's really, really easy.